So welcome, my name's Vicky Neal and welcome to this presentation on the new level four and five CCPLD qualifications. Okay, so some background on why the qualifications have changed. The Welsh Government Childcare Play and Early Years 10 year plan outlined how we were going to raise standards and skills by providing a structured training route for early years and childcare professionals. In addition to this, in 2016, Qualification Wales published its review of childcare qualifications. One of the recommendations of the report was that a new suite of qualifications to be developed for learners in Wales to ensure that we raise quality. But we also wanted to make sure that they were current and fit for purpose, so we're meeting the needs of both the learner and employers in Wales but more importantly, the children. So these new qualifications have been now been de developed in collaboration with key stakeholders and Health Improvement Wales, and they are now available. It's really important to state at this point that existing qualifications will continue to be valued and recognised. Later on, I'll be talking about the social care qualification framework and where predecessor qualifications can be located. As you know, there's not been a level four since the MVQ. In the new suite of qualification, this has been reinstated and there are now two different routes in the level four. So there's a level four professional practice, which is competency-based, and the level four leadership and management, which is knowledge-based. To achieve the level four professional practice qualification, learners must achieve a minimum of 60 credits so it's essential that learners be enrolled where they can evidence practice competencies. Learners, learners can choose from working with families and carers, working with children with speech, language and communication needs, and recognising sporting children with additional learning needs. The assessment is made up from a portfolio of evidence and a project that includes a series of written tasks. They will need to have direct observation of, of practice in a professional discussion. In relation to transferability, there is a shared mandatory unit between preparing for leadership and management and professional practice. So this does allow an element of transfer, transferability should learners wish to develop as a manager at a later date. If people have the old CCLD MVQ4, unfortunately they can't go direct to the new level five, they would still need to do the new level CCPLD 4 and 5. The content of the qualification can be found in, in um, the qualification specification and the weights will be assessed can be found in the assessment pack and these all can be found on Health and Care Learning Wales website. The qualification can be funded through the apprenticeship framework and learners can choose to complete it on its own or alongside the level four preparing for leadership and management. All, learning, all learners using the apprenticeship framework must complete essential skills qualifications as well. Learners must be aged at least 18 and to reiterate, they must be in a role where they can provide evidence of practice at this next level. The level four, preparing for leadership and management. This is a 60 credit knowledge only qualification which has been developed for aspiring managers it gives learners the knowledge and understanding needed to undertake a management role and therefore progress onto the level five practice qualification. It's a requirement, a prerequisite for the level five. The qualification is made up of three knowledge only units, leading child-centered practice, theoretical frameworks for leadership and management, and understanding how to lead and manage effective team performance. Each unit has a combination of written and oral assessments and these have been set by the awarding body. Again, the content of the qualification can be found in the qualification specification and the way it will be assessed can be found in the assessment pack. This qualification can also be funded through the apprenticeship framework and it can be completed alongside other level four professional practice or the level five leadership and management qualification. The minimum age, is 18. If you already have a learner on the QCF level five, there is a transition period to allow learners who are already working towards a qualification to be able to complete their study. 
So if they're working towards their qualification, this learning will not be affected and they will be able to continue their study until they complete their qualification. Learners will need to have completed the level four preparing for leadership and management prior to starting the level five qualification. It may well be, as I said, uh, in the moment, you're, you have workers completing the old QCF and that's perfectly fine. So the level five is 120, 120 credit qualification. It's made up of 90 credit mandatory unit and 30 from optional units. And the qualification requires learners to put the knowledge they've learned in the level four qualifications into practice. So therefore the learners have to be enrolled where they can show that they can meet the, the requirements. So they're putting the knowledge into practice. The 90 credits have an emphasis on day-to-day -day management functions. Therefore, all learners will need to now learn about this and will be required to put their learning into practice. The assessment process is made up of a business project based on an opportunity for a new or revised provision, a reflective log, a portfolio of evidence, and a professional discussion. As with the other level four qualifications, the qualification can be funded through the apprenticeship framework. The minimum age is 18. In relation to transferability, like the CCL, CCLD MVQ4, those workers that undertake that undertook the level five advanced practitioner, the QCF qualification, previously could top up and achieve the level five management. Currently, there is no route to top up to the new CCPLD5 qualification. I talked all earlier about the social care qualification framework. The qualification framework for social care and regulated childcare sets out the requirements for requirements for qualifications for a wide range of roles. It sets out current qualifications accepted, other qualification sets out any other current older qualifications that are set, accepted for practice, and any other UK qualifications that are accepted for UK sets out any UK qualifications that are accepted alongside with any top-ups that may be needed. The qualification framework can be accessed on our website on, from Social Care Qualification Framework. There's a link here in the presentation should you want to find it. That was just a whistle tour through the new level four and five qualifications. If you want to contact, if you have any queries or qualifications and cannot find the information on our qualification framework, please use this link to contact us. So thank you for your time. Diolch